what's up y'all i'm here at the movie theater once again and today i'm going to see thor um the new thor um we're gonna see i got i got some feelings about thor i i mean i partially like fat thor for like maybe five minutes and then you know it didn't really give it to me again so we're gonna see what this movie got to offer apparently he's going back to regular thor hopefully it's dope um we'll see I, i'm tr i'm gonna try my hardest to put my comic book bias aside and just watch the movie so we'll see we'll see what it is i i enjoyed the last uh thor movie um so we'll see we'll see what this one has to has to offer so we're we gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see who we're here i'll see y'all in a little bit Peace. so we're in the movies now a little early. I like to be early because I want to catch any new now previews that come out. Hopefully, hopefully there's some some good trailers because I haven't seen any good trailers in a while. What's up, y'all? So I am now out of Thor: Love and Thunder. Um, for the most part, I, I had a good time. I had a good time. Um, it was visually like a beautiful movie. Um. The comedy was a little bit much sometimes. Um, like, I think the comedy is what brought people back to like the Thor movies because everybody was like kind of checked out of them. Um, I think he did, did it a little too much at certain times um, where it could have been pulled back a little bit more to be, you know, cause um, the tone of the movie was like, it was serious. It was very serious tone in the movie, um, which I kind of like from Thor. Um, Thor is one of those characters that kind of can bring the dramatics. Uh, Chris Hemsworth um, is a hell of an actor. Um, and then you had uh, Christian Bale in this. I really like the, uh, and I know people are going to get on me because I, I, I talk I talk about Christian Bale a lot, but the parts with uh, Christian Bale and, um, and Chris Hemsworth in this were really, really good. Um, I thought I would have a problem with Jane Foster's Thor. And I didn't really. Um, I don't feel like she took away from the movie at all, which was what I was worried about. I was worried about it being a Jane Foster movie featuring Thor, but it was actually a, a Thor movie, which which I which I appreciated. Um, she did get her. She did get her shine though. Um, the supporting characters did really great. Um, <laughs> Russell Crowe is in this. Uh, and Russell Crowe is 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 in this. I, I'll I'll save that for now. I'll talk about what I think of Russell Crowe's performance um, during the actual spoiler uh, review. Um, uh, the story was the story is pretty decent. The story uh, the story is pretty decent. I like uh, some of the surprises that they had in here. Um, like my comic my comic person was kind of kind of peaked a few times i was like oh, okay i know who that is um so like there was that in there you know um the score like the musical score was pretty dope um let's see what else was there what else was there performances the music score comedy talked about that um actors Oh, the action. The action was really uh, was really bumped up in this. Um, although, the one thing I didn't like about the action was the slow-mo. I feel like they did a lot, a lot of slow-mo. And, um, and yeah, like, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a good time, man. It was a good time. Um, it, was a, it was a better time than I had in, um, in Doctor Strange, um, which I feel like a lot of stuff was just forced. Um, there was some stuff in here, but I was just like, I let it just slide. But um, but no, 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 I had a good time. So seven out of ten, seven point five maybe. But for now, seven out of ten. Um, might do a rewatch, might not. I'm gonna get with the fellas and see what they think. Um, I'll catch y'all on the show. We will be doing a spoiler review for this when everybody sees it. So I'll catch up with y'all then. Peace.